This video is a quick overview of mocking with Mach K. Why do we want to mock? Well, let's take a look at where we left off in our previous video with the test-driven design unit test. You see that we're doing test-driven design, so we're writing the test before we've written the code. And so there are several unresolved references because we have not written the code yet. Mocking will help us finish off these unit tests because they allow us to mock dependencies that are too complex for our development cycle right now, and it lets us focus on only what we want to test. Let's consider how mocking can make our unit testing more doable by removing some of the reasons we have for not unit testing. First of all, I can't test because it's too complicated. If you're saying that, take a look at your source code. Oftentimes, a complicated unit test represents complicated source code, and a simple unit test represents simple source code. It's a reflection of the source code that it's testing. So if testing is too complicated, ask yourself if there's a way you can optimize your source code first. Next, I can't unit test this because it interacts with external data. Well, that's exactly what mocking is for. With mocked objects, we can create an object and essentially tell it how to behave when it's used in a unit test. Finally, I can't unit test because it calls something outside. Maybe it's calling a REST endpoint or something else where it's publishing data to an external source that we don't control. Well, that's okay. That's where we want to use verify. We can write a test that simply validates that a certain method or function was called with a certain set of parameters. Let's visualize this with an animation. Let's say that we want to write a test around the service class, but the service class has a dependency on the persistence class. The persistence class might be saving data, or it might be fetching data or anything of the like. Within this persistence class, we have some kind of method here. When we mock, what we're doing is we're defining what we want that method to do. Now, when I say mock, there are actually two ways to do this. What a mock does is you simply start with a type, could be an interface or a class, and you say what all of the methods do. What's closely related is a spy. With a spy, you start with an object that is already built, and you simply override what some of the methods do using the mock domain-specific language. Either way, you end up with a method that has a defined behavior for the test that you're writing, and you define that behavior when you're mocking the object. Now, what happens when the service class invokes this dependent class or this dependent method? It'll get the mocked behavior that you created. But additionally, it will keep track of how that method was invoked with which parameters. The reason why this is nice is that later on, you can have a verify step to verify as part of this test that the method was called with the correct parameters. If this is a method that's invoking a REST endpoint or some kind of external endpoint, then you can safely say, okay, we have gotten to the point where that REST endpoint is called, and that is going to be part of our test. Here's what the specific example will look like on our program. We want to test this main view model, but actually we need the main view model to get some JSON data for us. So what I'm going to do is make a little service package. We'll say com.myplantdiary.service. And inside of that, we'll make a new class called plant service. And this is the one that we're going to mock. So it will be a real life class at some point. But right now using test-driven design, we're simply going to mock it out. We'll drop them into this package. And we can even add the operation fetch plants if we choose. And then we'll draw a uses a line between our main view, mo main view model and this plant service. So main view model is what we're going to unit test. It will have an operation called fetch plants as well, or something like that. And that's the function that we're going to test, and we're going to test it by mocking out this plant service. So stay tuned for the next video in the playlist where we'll take a look at some syntax. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.